welcome to Angela 333. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, you're safe. Thank you for joining. A couple things before we get started. Uh, one, there will be an extended reading link below in the description box. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can check out your other signs. Uh, your moon, your rising, or your Venus sign, there is a playlist link in the description box. All right. Secondly, um, <clears throat> excuse me, you can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, addresses are below in the description box. I'm going to point out, though, for Instagram, I just recently found that somebody duplicated my account. Uh, the difference is, is they used an extra underscore. Uh, they copied some of my posts. Um, and then they used an extra underscore. So really look at the name uh, closely. Um, you'll know if it's my account because I just uh, posted something recently saying don't follow this other account. Okay, so uh, just be aware of that. Uh, I do post daily, so check it out if you like. So with that, let's get started with your reading, Virgo. What's the energy here for Virgo? What's the energy for love for Virgo? All right, if I see anything else, I will pick that up as well. But this is your love reading. Okay. All right, so Virgo, what am I seeing here? Okay, a couple things. I see, I feel like you're going through an awakening here. Look at that, yeah. Seeing the light here. And, and as I say that, look at that awareness. Yeah, I feel like you're going through a spiritual awakening. Right, seeing the light about a situation. I feel like your intuition is very high at this time, so really listen to your intuition. Okay, so you know, it can be that, it can just be that your crown chakra is opening up here because you do have the crown chakra and you have the awareness card. So, your crown chakra may be opening up, you're going through a spiritual awakening here. Uh, this also can be, you know intuition about uh, somebody here that I feel that there are obstacles and challenges, right? So there's a break here. So that you may be in separation with somebody here. You may have just gone through a breakup um, or you and somebody else are going through some sort of challenge I'm getting. And then you have spiritual strength. So you have seven, five, and nine here. Okay, so leaning on your higher power, listening to your intuition, I feel like you may have to make some sort of decision, right, using your wisdom. But spirit, uh, your angels and your higher power are all with you at this time. Just know that. Okay. So let's uh, pull some tarot. Let's see what additional messages come out for you. Okay. So know that energies can be reversed in this reading. So take the take it how it resonates with you. I will call out the signs. They may have those signs in their chart or maybe their sun sign, but let's see what comes out for you, Virgo. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do we have for Virgo and love? What does Virgo need to know? Okay, so you got the Eight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Seven of Pentacles, Chariot, strong Cancerian energy. We also have here Capricorn, Taurus, and your energy, Virgo. The Sun card, strong Leo energy. The Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Six of Swords. Bottom of the deck, yeah. Five of Coin. Gosh, I've been picking this up a lot in your readings here, Virgo, lately. There's somebody I feel here that there was some sort of argument or conflict um, or breakup here between you and someone, okay? It definitely shows an energy of, uh, you know, things not moving, okay? It feels like um, there's a stuck energy here with that Eight of Swords. I feel like it's your person here, Virgo. I feel like your person here, your, your person is somebody here who who has a lot of fear, okay, I feel uh, when it comes to relationships here. You got the um, five of coin as well. So this may be somebody here, you know, who who wasn't um, making a whole lot of effort or holding back or not valuing you. 
We're going to clarify. We'll see what this is about. You have the seven of coin and you have the nine of wands. So I feel like this is somebody that you've put some time into. It feels like an energy of this is somebody who... Um, who is inconsistent, they're hot and cold, they come around, um, you know, so it feels like this could be something that's been going on for quite some time. We're going to clarify, we'll see what that's about. <clears throat> I also feel here too, there's an energy here of you uh, maybe making a decision here to invest your time in, in you know, moving forward. I'm, get, I'm picking up that energy as well. This also can be somebody new coming into your life, we'll see. When we clarify, you have the chariot and you have the, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the six of swords. Could be dealing with a Cancerian. But I feel like this is, um, this could be travel. This person could live at a distance from you. This person could be coming, to uh, coming towards you again here. This could be somebody returning. But I also see it too as some of you, this could be you taking control here, moving forward. Right, moving on from a situation, moving on from um, a situation that there hasn't been a whole lot of movement here. So let's clarify the cards, see where this is going. Potentially, some of you are moving on, and there's a new person. And for some of you, uh, I see this person returning or somebody traveling to, you know, the other. Why is the Eight of Swords and the Sun card here, please? Why is the Eight of Swords and the Sun card here, please? You have the Queen of Swords. You have the Nine of Coin. And the Ace of Coin. And you have the Judgment card. All right. So, Virgo, what I get here, okay. I feel like it's an energy here where you're making the decision to stand up for yourself, right? Because this is a situation where there hasn't been a lot of growth. This person hasn't given you any sort of stability here. This may be somebody who, you know, keeps popping in and out of your life. But I see you here being in a more independent energy and gaining more clarity about the situation. Look at this. You have the Ace of Swords as well. So I feel like you may be trying to, you may be making a decision here to cut ties with this person here because I feel like this is a, a situation where this person, for whatever reason, uh, they're, you know, they may have some healing to do or, you know, they may be in another situation, but for whatever reason, this person is, uh, you know, not making any decisions. There's no movement here for whatever reason. Let's clarify now. Let's see what this is. The Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here and the Knight of Wands here, please? You have the Magician, the Tower. Ah, interesting. Page of Swords. I'm going to pull another one. Three of Swords. Yeah, it's this person. This person's coming back around. Look at that, the lovers. Okay, got Gemini energy. So I feel that this is someone, um, they do have a strong connection with you right here with the lovers. They have a lot of passion for you. They do have feelings for you. Got the Palace of uh, Cups here too. So they have a lot of, of passion. They have a lot of feelings for you. They have a deep connection with you. But look at this. They have the Nine of Swords. And, the, and then the Eight of Cups. And then the, the Eight of Swords. This is somebody who runs, right? They run from the connection here. They keep their self stuck because this person has their own fears about something here. Okay, now I'm going to say for some of you, I do see the, the Lover's card. There could be a choice between two. If you know that you're in a third party situation, then that may be uh, for you. If not, then, you know, it's just that this person here has fears, even though they have that strong connection. Now you have the Magician, you have the Tower, you have the Page of Swords, and you have the Three of Swords. So this is someone I do feel like they are missing you. I feel like this person is spying on you. I feel here that uh, you're going to hear from this person out of the blue. They're coming around. They're coming around when you least expect it. If you pull back your energy, this person's probably feeling it. 
And that's why they're coming around. Let's see what the chariot and the six of swords. It may be that you're moving on from this person and, you know, because you're tired, <laughs> you know, or it's just not moving anywhere and you're awakening. You're kind of seeing the, the same behavior maybe this person is displaying. And then here they come. But let's see here. Why is the chariot? It may be that maybe this person is around, okay? But they're they're hot and cold in here. And they're not giving a whole lot with that five of coin. Why is the chariot and the six of swords here, please? You have the judgment. You have the four of coin. We saw the judgment earlier. And you have the six of cups. Look at that. Bottom of the deck here, you have the eight of swords. Yeah, I felt this is really about you making the decision whether to move on from this situation or not. I do see this person coming back around. It doesn't feel like there is any change here. Look at that. They're still showing up here as the Eight of Swords, Three of Cups. So some of you, look at that, Three of Cups and the Lovers and the Four of Coin. So I'm going to say for some of you, you could be dealing with somebody who's in a third party, somebody who could be going back and forth. you got the Ten of Cups here as well. So some of you, it could be, um, I'm going to say here, because you got the Six of Cups over here too. I feel like some of you, this could be somebody uh, that this person has a child with, doesn't have to be, or this person it could be in a, another relationship or commitment. You'll know if that's your case or not, or... You know, if it's if if the energy feels suspicious to you, you your intuition is really uh, keen right now. So with that two of pentacles, this could be somebody who's going back and forth between you and somebody else. Like I said, not everybody's story. So I just want to make that clear. You have the judgment, the four of coin, and the six of cups. I feel like your intuition is telling you to move on from this person. Or to hold back, which you're already, I see you doing here. And I feel like you're making the decision here to move on. I don't feel, you know, I'm not feeling the energy of, of this person coming towards you. It could be. It could be this person returning from the past or making a decision here. You know, um, take it how it resonates with you. But I really feel like it's, I'm picking up an energy of you possibly here really making the decision to move on from the situation okay uh, distance could be a factor and that might be a factor in your decision making as well so i'm going to pull uh three cards and ask what the potential is here then what i'm going to do is i'm going to ask what what this person is thinking or feeling about you and then after that i'll take it to the extended dig deeper uh see if they have upcoming actions towards you i do see them returning here uh, love messages, guidance, and I will look at new love as well because I feel like some of you are making a decision here to move on and that might help you to make, um, you know, gain some clarity. Let's see what the potential is here in the situation for Virgo and their person. Okay, look at that. Five of Swords energy twice there. The wheel. Okay, there's some sort of shift happening, some sort of change. I'm going to say maybe that um, this person does return and you get some clarity in some sort of way here. Something unexpected happens, this tower moment, which is divine intervention, especially faded energy here with the wheel. Could go one way or the other, I'm just going to say. Could be the deciding factor for you to move on from this person, but let's see. Temperance, divine timing. Bottom of the deck here, the High Priestess. I'm going to say here, I feel like you could find out something here, okay? There could be some sort of secret or something that you find out about. Uh, you know, you got the Page of Swords energy down here. I'm going to say you could find out. Um, you could find out about a third party, I feel, if you're checking their social media or something like that. It may be that you're releasing karma with this person, okay? You got the Temperance card here. You've got... Um, High Priestess energy. Like I said, your intuition is very key right now. Really listen to your intuition. But you have the Five of Swords. So I do, this is my third party card. So it could be a third party you're dealing with in a situation here. Some of you may be um, releasing that energy here. Okay. Let it fall by the wayside because you may find out something about this person. 
For others, if you're not in a third party here, this just can be about you feeling like this person is playing games with you, all right? And somebody here who, you know, they're all about themselves, okay? They're, there's somebody who will win at all costs, right? They don't care what it takes. They have the temperance card here. So, you know, this falls on the energy here where I see you you maybe making a decision to move on from this connection or not. So there was a reason for you and this person to be together. I will say that, right? Maybe it was uh, for you here to stand up for yourself or, you know, maybe it was for you to love you more. Okay, whatever the reason was, th there is something faded here about this. Okay, it could be a twin flame here, a twin flame that's not ready. Uh, you know, there is divine timing here in this situation. So let's see now what your person, what they're thinking and feeling about you, okay? So there may be some timing here, okay? That, like I said, this person's not ready yet. Uh, what's this? I'm going to say Sagittarius energy as well. What's this person thinking or feeling about Virgo? You have the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Coin. Yeah, it's funny because I heard, I mean, it's not funny, but... It's coincidentally here with the Queen of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. When those two cards came out, I heard this person's not emotionally invested. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Nine of Swords. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. This person's up in their head. Uh, I feel you got somebody here who is... Um, somebody here who is uh, not emotionally invested. But the reason they're not emotionally invested because... I feel like this person may have gone through some things in their life or they have challenges here, especially if they're in a third party situation and they have fear. Okay. Fear is holding this person back. And that is what is delaying things between you and them here with the hanging man. I do feel like this person's coming back around, <coughs> but they're not offering. There's not a whole lot of growth, as I was saying here in the beginning, like they're not offering they're not investing, you know, completely emotionally, right? Investing in a long-term relationship. There's delays here, okay? There's something complicated going on. It's either with your person or with somebody else here is what I'm getting. So I'm going to take it to the extended because I do see this person returning. We're going to see what their upcoming actions are, their intentions, love messages, guidance. I will look at new love as well. Virgo, so I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.